if he finished the season the way he's playing now, it would be the greatest season of a single player that's ever played the game of basketball. He's leading the league in scoring with averaging about 35 points a game. He returned to the lineup on Tuesday for the first time since December 22nd, dropped 30, 31, 15, and 10 on the Bulls. It's his 15th straight game with at least 30 points and 10 rebounds. He averaged, he averaged 40 points for the month of December on 61, 42, 92 splits. Uh, the Sixers in a Tuesday outscoring their opponents by about 10 points a game with a billion on the floor. Pat Bell, I like Pat Bell. I really do. Got an opportunity mm-hmm. to see him around from time to time. Being at the Lakers game last year, got an opportunity. He'd come over, he holler at me. So are we going to say like Wilt seasons didn't exist? Jordan season didn't exist? Kobe season didn't exist? So so I, I'm just trying to think, I, and I get it. People act like today, like whatever you see today, that's the greatest. That's the best mm-hmm. food. That's the best car. That was the best clothes. Bro. So when somebody when when he does 50 25, when he does 44 27, Wilt never averaged less than 18 rebounds a season. He averaged 30 points and 23 rebounds for a season. Look at some of Jordan's season. Look at Kobe's mm-hmm. season. Look at Harden's season. Mm-hmm. Harden had like 30 games where he averaged 30, had at least 30 points. Mm-hmm. And I'm not saying Joel Embiid is having a hell of a season. But, bro, just because someone is having a, a historic season, that doesn't mean we just got to – we just discount everything that's ever, that's ever happened up until this point. Oh, no, he getting drug tested tomorrow. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. They're going to tell you, hey, Pat, come on up in this uh, this room real quick. Go ahead. take, take uh, t- Put your shirt up and go ahead pee in this cup. We're going to have to test you on that statement. <laughs> it's, it's, come on. Like, 88. Like, 88 is a, a, a season to re- be yes. remembered. All the accolades that was won by one man, which probably would never happen again. No. No. Like, Not win the scoring t- win the scoring title. Win MVP, Even, Defensive Player of the Year. All-Star MVP. Like, like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. it was a one-man tangent. Yes. That, that's never going to happen again. Like, for Pat, this might be the best season that he's ever seen. Been a part of. Been a part of or seen. Yes. Yeah, like, yeah. Know, yeah. Yeah, right. you know, we wasn't, you know, we was little. We wasn't Yeah, watching. yeah, you're right. You're right. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah. Like, we didn't get to understand what that was. So, uh, we can read the stats. So, for the basketball minds, the 88, or 81 for me, right? Watching, you know, T-Mac hit the 62 while I'm on the court, right? Those are games like, oh, man, right? So him watching it in real time, that statement is coming from real life experience. Right. Not 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 history. Right. This, this, ain't, this ain't a history. This is what he's seen while he's been playing the game right. of basketball. And, and Steph. Winning you uni- you uni- uh, uh, the MVP unanimous. He's the only mm-hmm. guy that's ever won that, and he's a guard. Mm-hmm. And he led the league in scoring. I mean, there have been some great seasons. We'd have to go back and, and look, but we'll probably got five of them. <laughs> yeah, but like you know, in today's game, you, you're trying to you know with these players, you know what they're gonna remember is they will remember Kobe's eighty one. Yes, three on the Mavs. Um, you remember uh, Russell's triple double that first year that triple double yes, season? Yes, where, yes, yes. You know, since, you're gonna remember Oscar, that. Yes. Um, that Steph Curry when everybody was on, like with that seventy three and nine that year, yes. you gonna remember that, right? Yes. You know, so there's 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 these glimpses in James Harden's tangent, yeah, right, and you know, Joker at the beginning of the season last year. But I think with 35 a game from the big man, the way he's doing it, this could go down within the last 10 years. For sure. That's probably one of the best. Yeah. You okay. know, seasons. And, yeah. you know, you're right there. That's your guy. That's your teammate. So yeah. you're going to give him extra little love. Yeah. Yeah. You, 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 add, a, cherry on top, you, Paul. you add a little yeast to it so it'll grow a little more. You want to yeah, you you get that extra contract. Yeah. Hey, yeah. You know, you know, you know, you go ahead, big fella, sign me for two more years. Yeah. I, I tell people, uh, all our basketball fans, go back and look at that 61-62 season and look at the numbers that those guys put up because mm. we'll average 50-25, but that was also the year that Oscar averaged the triple-double. Yeah, That was also the year that Jerry West was, I think, 30 points, five rebounds, six assists. Walt Bellamy averaged like 35, 31 and 19. Yeah. Uh, uh, Elgin Baylor was like 30 and 17. Yeah. Go back and look at that, that season, 61-62. Mm-hmm. 
They they believe many believe it's the greatest statistical yes. season for individuals in a in a basketball season. Uh, but that's not to throw shade because Joel and B is playing unbelievable. Unbelievable. And right now, I think he and Joker have separated themselves from the pack. I think those are clearly the two best players. And there's no knock on Giannis, LeBron, KD, anybody. But those mm-hmm. two big guys right there, they're the best. They're they're the best at it right now. Yeah, they're, they're the best at what they're doing. I mean, they're 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 really balling. I mean, you can throw Le- Luca in there. Yeah, oh, yeah, Luka, yeah, yeah. What, what Luca's doing is impressive too. Um, but you know, the big guys right now are really dominating. And you know, um, Joel Embiid is dominating. You know, scoring mostly, and Joker's dominating just overall basketball. Kind of, who has the number? Who who is the number one person on your list to interview that you haven't yet? LeBron, in this order, LeBron, Dave Chappelle, President Obama. Wait, Oprah. You, you my, man, I told well, you gotta you gotta talk to me, man. You naming people in, in my contact. I call Obama right now. I bet he answered. Watch this. Hold on. I'm gonna put it on speaker. That man ain't answer your call. Yeah, man, I got Obama number. It's Obama. Disconnected. What's up? Okay, okay. Yeah, uh, Obama. Uh, Shannon, Shannon Sharp said he, he want to interview you. Okay, all right. I'm going I'm to I'm pass me your information. All right, bet. Yes, sir. First of all, first of all, Ocho, I told I told you it's very disrespectful. You, you, hey, you do, I, I got connections, man. I'm not saying that you don't have connections. I just I just you, talked to Obama. When you address a city, a former president. No, no, that ain't state, nah, that's 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 that TV shit. Me and Obama no, ain't like that. No, it's me, always me, president. Me him, we don't talk like that. We don't talk like that. Me and, <laughs> we, me and Obama go back <laughs> in Chicago. You know, I used to be a GD. I don't, I don't bang no more, but I used to be a GD. Obama was GD with me. But boom, then he went into politics. Yeah, you need to be, you were the GDF. A yeah. Gosh darn fool. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> but yeah, so boom. And you know, we went separate. We went down two different paths. He went politics, presidential route. I went football. But I, man, uh, I got, I, some of the people you, I could call Oprah too. You know who I want? You know who I want to get? Who? Kim Kardashian. Man, let me call Rob right now. Let me stop. No, nah, you ain't finna call nobody. Hey, so from, I got, let's see. I, said I got LeBron, the resources now. LeBron, who I said, LeBron, Chappelle, President Obama, Oprah, Kim Kardashian. I got some other, I got some other people, but I don't want to know because I don't want y'all to try to get, try to swipe them from under me. Nah. Because I've been listen. able, are uh, uh, the people that do this, that's in our space, right. I think I've, I think I've landed, landed some of the biggest in the But best. you got to understand. You are the hot ticket right now. So bạn đã đến với kênh YouTube của mình. Hôm nay mình sẽ review câu chuyện Châu và sư tử được nằm trong cuốn sách 1001. Chuyện mình xin mời các bạn cùng mình lắng nghe câu chuyện. Chào mừng các bạn đã đến với kênh YouTube của mình. Hôm nay mình sẽ review câu chuyện Thể con thay đuôi được nằm trong cuốn sách 1001. Mình xin mời các bạn cùng mình lắng nghe câu chuyện. Chào mừng các bạn đã đến với kênh youtube của mình Hôm nay mình sẽ review kẹo dẻo hình cá Kẹo dẻo hình cá này của mình sẽ giống như một con chú con cá chép vào đây á Các bạn nhìn kỹ này Giống như hình một chú con cá chép vào đây Sư tử và châu có ba chú trâu sống với nhau rất vui vẻ và luôn đoàn kết chống lại sự tấn công của sư tử mai mai hai vợ chồng lên ăn sinh nhật em đạt Đi mai á? Ừ. Tối à? Đi làm không? Tối à? Tối chứ ăn kẹo thôi 
kẹo mềm bằng cái hôm mà thừa hôm cưới đây à. mẹ mang vào cái gì mình lại không tổ chức nhưng mà tại uh, gì nhỉ mẹ bảo đấy thì đấy có kẹo đấy thì thì mua cái bánh cho nó là được <cười> trên đấy đẩy đấy dạy cách đục có cắt nhỏ như cái này ra thế là xong bẻ cong cái này cho dán lên thôi dán lên như thế này xong dán lên bẻ cong cái này lấy a bốn nữa hoặc a không ui giờ à lấy cái 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 giấy nhỉ a bốn thì đầy bên kia kìa chỉ là cái ấy thôi ôi đưa cho gì cái đấy xem một quần nữa chán cái bao nhiêu Chào mừng các bạn đã đến với kênh youtube của mình Hôm nay mình sẽ review câu chuyện Cú mèo chuyển nhà được nằm trong cuốn sách 1001 Mình sẽ mời các bạn cùng mình lắng nghe câu chuyện Chào mừng các bạn đã đến với kênh youtube của mình Hôm nay mình sẽ review câu chuyện Vương quốc chuột được nằm trong cuốn sách 1001 Mình sẽ mời các bạn cùng mình lắng nghe câu chuyện Chào mừng các bạn đã đến với kênh youtube của mình Hôm nay mình sẽ review kẹo dẻo hình nho Kẹo dẻo hình nho này của mình sẽ được làm bằng đường và đường và các bột mì và các hương liệu tổng hợp ở đây ạ Cú mèo chuyển nhà Cú mèo sinh sống trên một ngọn núi ở thôn Đông Ban ngày ngủ, đến tối thì đi bắt chuột. Thế nhưng người dân thôn Đông không thích cú mèo sống tại đây. Bởi vì tiếng kêu của cú mèo quả thật nghe vô cùng khó chịu. Đặc biệt, vào buổi tối, cú mèo lại thường cất lên tiếng kêu kỳ quái. Khiến cả người lớn lẫn trẻ em đều thấy giận người. Thế là mọi người nghĩ cách buổi cú mèo đi. Một buổi tối, mọi người đốt đuốc đi tới khu rừng cú mèo ở. Vừa hét vừa quát. Dọa cú mèo sợ đến nỗi phải chuyển nhà ngay Đi ngay lập tức Cú mèo nghĩ Người dân ở đây thật khó tính Mình phải tránh xa khỏi đây thôi Vương quốc chuột Ngày xưa có hai chú chuột nọ Một chú rất to lớn Còn chú kia thì nhỏ xíu Chú chuột to Tên là đầu to Tính hay thích khoác lác Có lần đầu to hùng hồn nói Tôi lợi hại lắm đấy nhé Trước đây tôi đã từng đánh ngã con mèo hoa trên đầu giường, ông chủ nhà mà. Các thành viên trong họ nhà chuột biết tin này đều rất phấn khởi. Tất cả đồng thanh, thế thì tốt biết mấy. Trong cái túi kẹo dẻo này thì có rất là nhiều các hương liệu hoa quả rất là thơm. Và đây đã gọi là kẹo dẻo. À, mình Khi mà mình ăn mình thấy rất là mềm và dẻo. À, khi mình xào này, các bạn thấy không? Nó rất là xéo và à, sản phẩm này khá là dai. Khi mà cái kẹo này được cái hình uh, hình dáng cái uh, uh, chùm nho ở đây thì các bạn các bạn trẻ nhầm trẻ con nhà mình ấy thì đều rất là mê cái loại kẹo này. Vừa hình dáng uh, kẹo rất là đẹp và lại được đóng trong cái túi như thế này, được bảo quản khá là tốt và sử dụng uh, hạn sử dụng được khá là lâu. 